Hey, Lori, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me. It's so great to see you again. I know. I feel like it's been so long. It, it might have even been like two years though, right? <laughs> I, I think so. If not pretty close. Time's gone by so fast. Right. And of course, right now things are, are hectic and, and nuts. Um, but I'm so thrilled that you have agreed to be a part of the Become Influential Virtual Summit. It's happening June 8th through 12th. And you'll be presenting on Thursday, June 11th, which is our day for marketing. And you've got a really unique topic because you're going to be talking about media secrets. And I love this concept of getting featured in the media because it's not, it's not paid marketing, it's earned marketing, right? So it's, it's getting on the news, getting in publications and magazines and other blog posts and all that good stuff. And I'd love to, to hear a little bit about your background and how you gained all the experience that you did to begin offering this type of guidance for entrepreneurs. Yeah, absolutely. So I have been an entrepreneur uh, my entire life, really. And it sounds so funny when people say that, but truly I had my first business um, making and selling barrettes at Christmas bazaars when I was in first grade. That's so and cute. from there, just got, just got the bug more or less. Um, and then from there, I, I took out my, my first bank loan officially with a presentation and everything officially for $3,500 to have a hot dog stand when I was 11. And it was through that experience um, that I not only learned so many of foundational skills for business, but I got my first taste on uh, about the power of media because it was during that business that at 11 years old, I didn't fully understand all of the different city ordinances and permits and all that kind of stuff that I needed. I was learning everything as I went along. And so I was operating a business on a public sidewalk and that got a lot of attention a lot of positive attention for supporting a young entrepreneur and a lot of young or a lot of bad attention. And so I was in the papers and I was in the radio um, from the time I was 11 years old. And I learned so much through that. I had my first live radio remote when I was 11 years old because of that controversial situation as a young entrepreneur. And it was then that I began to understand the power and the reach that media had when so many people heard my story and wanted to support me and came from all over miles and miles and miles away just to meet me just to see me and just to buy a hot dog chips and a drink for me for two dollars and so it was so cool and it was so amazing to learn and literally be in the trenches of this you know controversial situation at a very young age and although it was very nerve-wracking because i was only 11 it what it taught me was not only um just business skills, you know, from the ground up, but the power of leveraging media. And it was from that point forward that I began to understand the more the power of media and how to use it more strategically and how I then drive my own ship, my own media strategy ship and cultivate those relationships um, that I needed with media in order to really, really represent me, the business, you know, any specials I might have, run the story, you know, how's the young entrepreneur doing and all the different things that followed after that. Um, Cause I'm a very creative business solution um, strategist. I have been from the time I was little. So I did some pretty interesting things after that at a very young age and continued to um, leverage media in, in very positive ways after that. So it really truly has been my whole life. And then of course, um, I retired a couple years ago after 23 years in education. The last eight of my career, I spent as a business professor teaching business at all levels, every topic you can probably think of, and designing curriculum and programs for undergraduate and graduate um, colleges and universities across the globe. So I really have um, been very, very involved as, as an entrepreneur, as a media specialist, um, as a business professor and, and just really honed my skills, you know, with every opportunity along the way. I myself am featured in over 500 media outlets a year. So oh, that, that's radio, that's podcasts, that's newspapers, that's, you know, everything in between. And I have really learned um, not only how to leverage it, but 
how to cultivate those relationships and how to pitch and how to repurpose your content and the right media outlets that were going to accomplish the goals that I needed to accomplish. So I've taken all of those things and as an international business coach and media strategist, I now help entrepreneurs at all levels learn the world of media so that they better understand how media works, how to best utilize it and leverage it for their own goals, for their own messaging, and to really learn how to position yourself using media to be that authority in your space, to build your brand, to build your business, because people buy from people that they like, know, and trust. So using media, if used correctly, can absolutely help you accomplish all of those goals that you need to in order to build up your brand, build up your business, and essentially reach more people with your messages and with your products and services so that they find you. And so I, I help people understand all of the different levels involved in that and how to break it down into really simple steps to follow, um, you know, to understand um, that people can start implementing right away. Like right now, today, you can understand very specific tips on what you need to do and what you need to not do or stop doing in order to position yourself better, increase your relationships with media and learn to repurpose your content in a way that makes you magnetic. So what's really, really cool is that I've been in media long enough now that I actually have media outlets contacting me. <laughs> They're wanting to interview me as the expert. And it's a really, really amazing thing when you can get to that point to say, man, I'm not chasing, I'm not pitching, I'm not chasing after people. I literally have reached a whole new level to where um, media outlets and event organizers, you know, all across the globe are contacting me as the expert. And that's something that is very achievable for any business owner if they just have the right strategies in place. And I'm glad you mentioned that because that was going to be my next question is how much, uh, how much time you're spending pitching yourself, but it sounds like you don't have to spend that much time doing it anymore because you've done the work in the past. Right. It's not something that's going to come right away, of course, because you have to learn the foundational skills necessary. And, and if I want to, I can, you know, I can, you know, pitch to a different magazine than I, that I've never worked with before or a different station that I've never worked with before. Um, and I do a little bit of that and I will always continue to do that because that's just part of position, continuing to position myself as the authority and grow my own knowledge base and my own experience base. Um, with working with, you know, everybody new, right, is a totally different experience. But, um, but yeah, I've kind of hit that next level. And I am so, and I'm kind of reaping the rewards of all that hard work, so to speak. And so because I've now been through the full journey, it's so easy for me to talk to anyone and say, no, I know exactly what you need to do. And I know exactly what you need to stop doing. <laughs> and I know this exact strategies for your industry and for your messaging that are going to work for you. Because one of the, one of the biggest mistakes and, and, and mindset issues that people have that they don't even know they have is understanding how their messaging needs to be in full alignment with the right media outlet. So there's all these different, like ever, I hear Oprah a lot. I hear the Today Show a lot. I hear, you know, certain types of outlets. And what they don't understand is that they need to fully understand their messaging and their goals that they have for the growth of their business in order to understand the right media outlets that are actually going to garner them the, those results that they're after. It's not just throwing spaghetti at a wall, just kind of taking anything that you can get and kind of piecing things together with a little bit of time and a little bit of, of money. That's not a strategy. You're going to spin your wheels, wasting a ton of time and a ton of money by doing that. So I help you understand the right media outlets that are in full alignment with your target audience, with your messaging, with your goals that are actually going to help to catapult you a lot faster and a lot stronger because it's not just about, the media logos that you can use on your website or on social media, that truly is the cherry on top. That's awesome. There's a lot of power in that. There's a lot of visual credibility that comes with that, but there's a whole bunch of layers underneath that actually will help to launch you 
so much stronger. And that's what I'm so passionate about helping people understand that full spectrum of what I call my five-star strategy process. And there's all kinds of golden nuggets that I teach within each of those five um, steps of the process that can absolutely make a huge difference wherever you are in your business, whether you're just starting, whether you have are fully established, but you haven't really used media all that much, or maybe, or more, maybe you've used it a lot, but you haven't been repurposing the content the way that you need to. And you haven't been really building those true relationships the way that you need to. Wherever you are in your business, I absolutely can teach you what you need to do to make just a few little tweaks in order to be in a completely different position very, very quickly, a lot quicker than you think. And that those five-star steps, that's what we're going to go over at the summit, correct? Yes, absolutely. Um, and that's, to be honest, that's actually the process that I teach and that I coach on is also based on my, uh, my book. So Media Secrets Revealed. And so I actually teach the specific steps. They're the same steps I teach on stage that I teach, you know, in a summit that I do, uh, that I write about in my books and in all my articles. It, I have maintained messaging. So no matter where you find me, if you read something about step one in five different places, you're going to get the exact same strategies because it is the exact same process that you need to do. And I beat that messaging home so that you, there's, you have complete clarity on exactly what it is that you need to do. So yes, during the summit event, I will be going through the, the five star strategy process that you need. So you will absolutely want to come to the session prepared to take notes and to jot down um, those specific steps because I'm going to take you through the entire process with how to, how to position yourself in your social media, how to be magnetic to where people are starting to be drawn to you. I'm going to teach you two different solid ways to pitch media so that there's no question about that so that you don't have, you no longer have fear of rejection over what that process looks like and how to do that. I'm gonna teach you how to reprocess, um, repurpose your content. I'm gonna teach you different interviewing techniques. I'm gonna teach you the best way to prepare for different types of interviews. I am gonna go through all of it. So this is a session during the event that you will not want to miss because it is such a foundational part of your business. And one of the things I want people to understand is that We've all heard of a business plan, whether you know what it looks like, whether you have one or not, that's usually a term that a lot of entrepreneurs, at least at some point, have heard. And we've maybe heard of a media strategy, maybe heard of a media plan or a marketing plan. But what I want you to understand is that your business plan and your media plan are not two separate plans. They really, truly are living, breathing plans and documents and lifelines that need to be integrated in order to be the best support for your overall goals and for your overall plan. Your media plan is not this extra thing floating out there if you have a few extra bucks and a few extra you know, minutes in a day. It really truly should be a strong foundational part of your overall business plan. And that's what I teach you how to do. Oh, amazing. And I feel like this session is going to be packed with so much information and just to bring it full circle, like you want to be that little girl, that little 11 year old girl selling hot dogs on the street. There was nothing proprietary about your hot dogs. Your hot dogs probably didn't taste any better than any other hot dogs. It was just the fact that you were positioned in such a wonderful light through the media. And I think we can all think to examples of that where you've learned about somebody through a television show or but for some reason, the one that's coming to mind for me is John's Crazy Socks. You know, it's a brand that I saw on Facebook and I loved the story. And then being able to do business with that company just makes you feel good. And you want to be that company. You want to be that brand and that person that gets that, that attention from the media. So I think this is going to be amazing. And everybody has the ability to to do this everybody has the right level of expertise and you're going to teach people how to go through that pitch process and then prepare to actually do it which can be intimidating yes and to help people understand 
to not pay, to not pay attention to what everybody else is doing because if some person has a pretty strong um let's say podcasting strategy right so depending on your goals and your audience you might you might do some but that might not be the strongest part of your overall media plan and media strategy it might be tv it might be radio it might be print more print magazines so what people also need to understand is that there needs to be intentional action and strategy in absolutely every aspect of this. And although it may seem overwhelming, I, I teach you how to break that down, but to really, really focus on what's important for you, for you and your business, even if you're in a similar business um, for product and service than maybe somebody else out there, you have to stay in your own lane. You have to stay focused on your own goals and develop your strategy for you. And that's something that gets really distracting for people in media because they think, oh, this person over here is getting a lot of attention. Uh, maybe I should do what they're doing. And I just, I say no every time. It may or may not be the right strategy for you or the right media outlet for you, but in a lot of cases, it's not. And so when people understand their own messaging and their own goals and their own strategy, they better understand why certain media outlets are better for them over others and why that's actually going to get them to where they want to go faster. So there's a lot of little, lot of little nuggets that I'm going to be teaching during, um, during the session of the event. And I can't wait oh, because yeah. you follow what I'm teaching you even just a couple little nuggets that you take away from it, it will change the way that you think about media and it will change the way that you think about opportunity with media. It will change the way that you think about your own positioning and the way that you're using your own content. There will be, there will be several nuggets that I drop that you will begin to shift your mindset and the, the possibility immediately if you choose to. This is not difficult because of the way I break it down. There is a lot to it that you can add to your repertoire as you take each step and as you move forward. But I also teach you to not be overwhelmed by the whole big picture. Just choose one or two things and start. Wherever you are, just start. And that's easy. And I'm gonna show you how to, how to make that easy. Oh, I am so excited. And just this little, this little snapshot, it just makes it even more exciting. I've said this on every interview I've recorded so far, but the really great thing about this summit is that I didn't go into a Facebook group and just say, hey, I'm looking for people to speak. That is not what I did. I've, I have been at conferences. I mean, we met, I think initially at a conference and then a couple different places, but, um, I, I've hand selected people who I know are experts in their field and just doing these little, this little interview, it's like, oh yes, I made the right choice. This is going to be amazing. And when you register for the summer, the summit, make sure that you are there on Thursday and catch Laura's session. You will not regret it. So thank you so much for taking time. I know we're all crazy right now with, with homeschooling and, and whatnot, but thank you for taking time out of your schedule to do this interview and for joining us for the summit as well. Yes, absolutely. I, it's my honor and thank you for the invitation to participate in the summit. I am excited to be a part of this event and I too am very, very excited. So thank you for having me.